Hello and welcome to my channel where we compare weapons from movies and video games to their real life versions. Here we debunk myths and uncover interesting facts about weapons. Are you tired of seeing the same old cliche weapons in movies and games? Let's be real, no one's going to rush into a building shooting like John Wick and hope to make it out alive. That's why we're here to introduce you to some unconventional spy and killer weapons that will blow your mind. In this video, we'll take you on a journey to discover the wackiest, weirdest and most innovative tools of the trade. Who knows, you might just find the perfect weapon to add to your arsenal for your next mission. So buckle up, get ready to be entertained and let's dive into the world of spy and killer weapons. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're ready to join the fun. In fifth place, for interesting weapons used by killers, we have a knife. Perhaps not particularly surprising, but what if I told you it's a shooting knife? I'm referring to the NRS, which in translation stands for Reconnaissance Shooting Knife. It looks like a regular combat knife, but it's actually a weapon of last resort. This means it's usually used when all other weapons are inoperable or cannot be used. The principle of operation is very interesting. It looks like a regular knife, but the handle of the knife doubles as a barrel which can be loaded with a bullet. To fire, you need to pull the lever on the handle, move the safety lever and then press a button to fire. At the end of the barrel, there are rubber petals that open as the bullet is fired and then quickly close, suppressing the flash and part of the sound made by the powder ignition. But why is this the perfect option for a killer? Firstly, it combines two ways of using the weapon in one. This means that even if you can't get close enough to your target to use the first option of physical impact, you can always fire from a distance. And secondly, there's no need to carry a lot of weapons, just take a knife that can be easily hidden in a boot or pocket. While the NRS shooting knife may sound like something out of a James Bond movie, it's important to remember that it has its limitations. With a single shot capacity, this knife gun hybrid may not be the best choice for taking on a whole gang of bad guys. And let's be real, trying to aim and shoot a bullet from a knife handle is no easy feat, even for the most skilled assassins out there. So while the NR40 may be a cool gadget to show off at the next spy convention, it's definitely not a weapon you want to rely on in a high pressure situation. In fourth place on our list is the ring gun. Imagine you're a killer and you have about three priorities when it comes to choosing your weapon. First, it should be silent. Second, it should be inconspicuous. And third, it should be quick to use. All three of these principles are embodied in the shooting ring. Yes, you heard that right. It's a ring that can, with the right know-how, kill a person. And the principle of operation for this weapon is quite simple. A small tube is welded to the ring, which serves as a barrel of the gun. On the reverse side, a detonator is inserted into a special sleeve and the ignition is produced by pulling a cord. This cord is attached to a longer one on the person's body and the entire structure is hidden under clothing. Finally, all that's left is to load a small bullet into the barrel. As a result, a killer with this weapon can simply approach their target, extend their arm towards the person's face and immediately walk away from the crime scene. By the time people around realize what's happened, the criminal could have already disappeared far enough away. While the ring gun may seem like the perfect weapon for a secret agent, there are some serious risks involved. For example, imagine trying to discreetly shoot your target with your hand in your pocket, only to accidentally shoot yourself in the leg instead. That's definitely not the kind of mistake you want to make in the middle of a high stakes mission. As for whether the ring gun has actually been used in real life assassinations, there are plenty of rumors and stories floating around. Some say that French gangsters in the early 1900s favored a similar design known as the Apache revolver gun, while others claim that British intelligent agents used a version called the sleeve gun during World War II. But without concrete evidence, it's hard to say for sure. In third place is a rather interesting item, and you'll see why in a moment. Once, Edward Lytton uttered a phrase that became an aphorium, namely, the pen is mightier than the sword. It's clear to everyone that Edward meant that with words and agreements, we can achieve more than with war. However, this phrase, no matter how funny it may sound, became the slogan of the Stinger pen gun shooting pen. And yes, 
we may be used to the fact that all these cool spy gadgets are just Hollywood tricks and in reality, no one is going to bother with such childish things. But in fact, they will. And this pen does have a unique concept. Imagine you're a killer and you want to sneak into some kind of closed event, not just any event, but one with influential people. Naturally, you'll be searched at the entrance and you just can't bring a gun with you. But an ordinary pen? Sure thing. According to the manufacturer, this pen does not require a license and can be put into combat mode in just two seconds. And yes, of course, due to the small size, they had to sacrifice kinetic energy of the shot. But if you shoot from a distance of one meter, even this tiny amount of energy is enough to penetrate the target's head. Now, you can't help but look at the sturdy metal pens of people passing by. Who knows what they might have inside instead of ink. Now let's take a look at the smallest and thinnest combat pistol in the world, as it even looks like a regular bank card. This pistol is called the Lifecard 22LR. The pistol was created by Trailblazer Firearms, a company based in North Carolina, USA. The company's founder, Aaron Voigt, was tired of people carrying large heavy guns for self-defense, which can be uncomfortable and inconvenient. He decided to create a gun that was easy to carry and conceal while still packing a punch. The result was the Life Card, a pistol that is ultra thin and compact and you can fit it in a wallet or pocket without anyone noticing. But don't let this small size fool you, the Life Card is still capable of firing accurately at short distances, making it a popular choice for concealed carry enthusiasts or a sneaky killer that needs to approach the victim without carrying a full size gun. The Life Card pistol works like this. There are two sliding parts on the body, one of which is responsible for unfolding the pistol. After that, the trigger appears and the pistol is ready to shoot. By the way, just like in all previous weapons, the principle of one shot without reloading applies here, meaning that after each shot, you will need to manually extract the casing and load a new cartridge. Fortunately, there is a compartment for several spare cartridges in the handle. Unlike the pen gun, this pistol is more noticeable, but in the case of the card, we have a more convenient and faster reloading. For comparison with the shooting pen, you will first need to unscrew the barrel, load the cartridge, screw the barrel back, and fully jerk the entire mechanism by folding and unfolding the handle, while with the card, you just need to pull the trigger. And now, the first place is occupied by a very interesting specimen of a weapon straight from the USSR. It even has an interesting history. There's a guy named Nikolai Koklov, who starred in the film How the Steel Was Tempered at the beginning of World War II. However, after filming the movie, KGB agents knocked on his door and recruited him as a spy. Koklov was assigned to kill one of his compatriots in West Germany, but when he was already standing in front of the target, he decided to confess that he was a Soviet agent and refused to carry out the mission. Interestingly, he had a very silent weapon in his possession, which looked like a regular pistol but had three barrels. The ignition of the cartridges occurred with the help of a battery located in the handle of the pistol. When the trigger was pulled, a special mechanism rotated the barrels, which sequentially supplied the current to each barrel with the next shot. This was done to remove the metal clanking sounds that are present in regular pistols from the pistol's design. To make sure that the gunshot sound was not heard, the pistol had a very small gunpowder reserve, which was enough only to pierce the skin of the target. But how do you kill someone with such a toy-like pistol? The thing is that a lethal dose of cyanide was placed in the bullet's head, and if the skin of the target was pierced, death became inevitable. While the use of such a weapon is not unheard of in the world of espionage, the fact that it was given to a movie star turned spy seemed almost comical. One has to wonder why the KGB thought it was a cool idea to entrust such a delicate mission to an actor and why they chose such a unique and risky weapon for the task. And after all of this, it's no surprise that the mission failed. What are the unusual killer's weapons that you have heard of? Write about them in the comments and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video.